We're outside Mexico City at the Teotihuacan Pyramids and we are about to climb up the Moon Pyramid. These were built, uh, actually abandoned, well before the Aztecs showed up in the 14th century. It is not too bad of a climb, but I anticipate the view is going to be quite impressive. So we made it to the top of the Moon Pyramid. It wasn't too bad. Each step is maybe about uh, as high as my knee. I'm five six, five seven on a good day. Um, but it was a little bit. Um, but the view is so worth it. Uh, you can see the surrounding valleys. You can almost see Mexico City off in the distance. You can see what is the main period, pyramid of the group. This is the Sun Pyramid that we are presently going to climb as well. Um, it is about three times as high uh, as the last one that we just climbed, um, but certainly the views will be even more amazing. So here we go. I'm going to attempt to record as I climb up the Sun Temple. Uh, the Sun Temple that the Teotihuacanos built um, they're called the Teotihuacanos because they're actually um, an indigenous population that was wiped out um, before anybody could name them. Um, this temple, pyramid actually, um, you can see the first half, the first level here. This temple's actually several temples. What they did was they continued building. As the years went on, they continued building on top uh, each pyramid. And then this one specifically, there's a network of underground chambers um, that leads archaeologists and archaeoastronomers to believe that uh, in ancient times they may have had access to geothermal water, and, um, obsidian minerals as well. Um, a lot of the stones that these pyramids are built with um, are very volcanic in nature. Um, clearly I need to hit the gym more because I'm winded. Let's see what the view is. A little bit higher. So I've climbed the 264 steps to make it up to the top of the Sun Temple. Thankfully these steps were uh, not as high or steep as the Moon Temple which is right over there. Just to give you a clue on perspective of size. Now there's no real explanation as to why the Teotihuacanos built this pyramid here. But when you actually stop and look and consider the vantage point that you have of, you know, what could have existed thousands of years, whether it be swamps, forests, I mean, it was an ideal location, um, probably not just for commerce, but also to uh, keep an eye out. Stunning, absolutely stunning.